Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this whole and simple, this is the Roasted Hatch Chili Chicken Burrito Bowl with salsa verde, cilantro, lime, spiced grains, and white meat chicken. Um, it's a product of Canada. <laughs> um, Canada makes a lot of stuff for us. This was at, bought at Aldi, it was $2.99, so if you have an Aldi in your area, they may have this bowl, they may have this meal. Sometimes they, they switch out meals a lot at Aldi, so they may or may not have it. Um, it says the chicken is made, uh, or chicken's raised without antibiotics. Um, prohibit the use of hormones and poultry, keep frozen, uh, whole grains, a half cup of vegetables, raised without antibiotics, no added hormones. It is, um, did I say it was two ninety nine? Yeah, two ninety nine at Aldi. 330 calories for the meal, and there's your other info for you. There's all it's made out of. So, microwave oven, I don't, oh, it does have conventional oven directions here, it was, wasn't, um, it was blocked by the camera. Conventional oven directions here, of course we don't do ovens, we do microwaves. So we're going to remove the outer packaging and pierce film, microwave high for four to five minutes, I'll probably do four and a half, but um, stirring halfway through. So I'll do, I'll do two and a half and then two, that's probably better. And then we'll leave it for one minute, but just kind of let it finish cooking. Yeah, so I'll do, I'll do two and a half and two. And it did say to just vent it, didn't it? Um, yeah, pierce them. And then stirring halfway through, I'm assuming you're going to recover it. So there's what it looks like. I like the shredded cheese on top. That looks good. So I usually just take a fork and poke in the middle and just kind of like make a vent that way. That's the quickest way to make a, a vent in the top. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. Uh, the only thing that doesn't really look appealing necessarily, not, well, not appealing, but it doesn't look great is the chicken. The chicken's like a boiled chicken, so it doesn't have any grill marks or any color to it. So it's just literally white chicken. So I wish they had, a, I don't know, I wish they'd browned it or even if it was fake brown marks on it just to give it a look that it had been grilled would have been, been nice, but you know, whatever. Um, I do have to say it smells good. It smells very strongly of the peppers and there's quite a bit of cheese in there. Uh, you can see how sticky um, it's on my fork. So I'm going to um, let this cool off for a minute. It's a little wet in the bottom. Some moisture in there. Um, it's a little watery, but we'll see. We'll see what it, what it's like once it's uh, set for a minute, because it has to set for a minute anyway. So I'll be right back. All right, I gave it just a minute to cool off. Uh, there's chicken and beans and plenty of rice falling in my hand. Mm. Mm. You can see the cheese, it's just sticky. Quite a bit of cheese in there. I like the flavor of uh, the chili flavor is really strong in there. Um, the rice is cooked really well. It's a little, it's a little firm still, which I like a little firm uh, rice. It's not sticky at all. I like the flavors you get from the corn and the beans as well. Uh, that's really good. The chicken, you only get probably two or three little hunks like this. And I cut them in half when I started up the first time. So you end up with like, like four or five of these hunks of chicken like this size so you don't get a ton of chicken in here although there's, there's plenty of rice and peppers and corn and beans and all that stuff just know you're not getting a ton of chicken you could cut them into smaller pieces where you get more um smaller pieces of chicken more bites you could do that if you wanted to the chicken i do have to say is, is very tender it's not dry at all. I mean, not even in the least bit. Um, yeah, I really like the flavors of the of the hatch chilies. They're, they're, it's really, really good. The salsa is excellent. It's a touch spicy, but not like burn the back of your throat spicy. It's just a touch spicy. So if you don't, if you don't like spice food at all, you probably wouldn't like it. But if you're okay with a little, just even a hint of spice, I think you'd be fine with this. Like I said, the only problem with this is Aldi tends to get things and not have things. So. Um, if you have this in your Aldi, try it out. I think you'll like it if you like a Mexican style um, um, cilantro lime kind of flavored meal. Uh, if you like that, I think you'll like it. If you don't, you know, don't buy it. Um, I do get the cilantro lime a little bit. It's more of the pepper flavor, but I do get a little bit of that cilantro lime flavor. It's, like I said, it's not really strong. It's kind of in the background, so, um, so it's not overpowering, which I like. Mm. Yeah, I could definitely definitely eat this um, not all the time not regularly but I could definitely eat it more often than just this one time um, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a four out of five I do think it's good quality it's good food it's it's cheap it's uh, what was it I 
can't remember now. Yeah, two ninety nine. I think that's fairly cheap for the amount of food you get. Uh, it's a lot of rice, but the rice and the grains um, are going to fill you up pretty good, so you'll feel like you've eaten a lot. Um, I wish I had a little bit more chicken to it, uh, but beyond that, yeah, it's it's pretty good. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.